Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is May 1st, 2013. Wednesday, we'll be looking at uh, many markets today and showing you some signs that you should be aware of. Yesterday, we talked about the oil price and we told you how commodities are showing signs of selling and we expect commodities as well as stocks uh, to sell off substantially. And so, uh, looking now at stocks, look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average to start off with. You can see something very interesting here on this chart. We've been tracking this chart, and for, I don't know, uh, I'd say I, I, it was last Friday we talked about. We expected the market to would start to sell off uh, this week, but then we had to go in and adjust it like a couple of days later because we had a big update right on this day here. And we said, okay, that's going to alter our, our view uh, on how we expect this chart to break down. So we started to alter some of the charts, but it didn't change our bearish position. It just changed the time frame. So we had a little bit, uh, a couple more days to the upside, basically. Well, you'll see that on some other charts. But uh, all in all, you're seeing that we're rolling over at this point now. So that's fine. That doesn't really change things. Give it a couple different days. Uh, here you can see we had a sell signal yesterday. Uh, we basically a hanging man candlestick formation is what should happen when you have a pullback here and you get a hammer at the bottom that's different than when you have a rally and one that forms at the top that's a sell signal or that's a buy signal completely different depending on where they're at in the location another thing you point out here on this chart is you have confirmation today being lower low than you've seen before this is starting to break down and then again you'll notice this high point here higher than this one here and this is important because the Dow Jones industrial average has been the strongest average uh, for several months now in the U.S. markets, and we're seeing that fail here. So that's important. You've had uh, this pullback, then you had this bounce situation here. A lot of the other averages actually made new highs, but not the Dow Jones Industrial, which it had been the leader, and now it's starting to fail. That's very, very important. Because we haven't been stopped out of this position, because we never made a new high, uh, we're still short here. We still like it on the short side, and we expect this to be taken out, meaning we'll go lower. Why do we know that? Because you had a pullback from this point here. You've bounced off of that. You've tested to come up here. You were unable to break out. That means sell pressure is greater than buy pressure. The only way to alleviate that is to go down here, fall lower, which would increase buy pressure and also decrease sell pressure. Uh, that's how that, that system works. You will continue to fall off until uh, you have a change. When buy pressure becomes stronger than sell pressure, then you can bounce. Until that happens, you have to continue to go lower. And we already know that you're going lower. So just watch this. A quick little side note here on gold. We've been bearish on gold and silver. I uh, told you guys this little bounce here, which is a counter trend move. The real move was the overall downtrend here, lower series of highs, lower series of lows. Uh, there's nothing here to be a buyer of. It's a complete fake bounce here, and you shouldn't be buying this. You should be selling it. And you can see today we are moving in that direction, actually breaking down here. Uh, that can be confirmed by multiple things. One, you come up here and rolled over, didn't make new highs, started making new lows. Another way to do that would be simply to draw this trend line here. You can see closing below that line there. Uh, even if you just wanted to say, oh, well, we're just going to pierce it. Well, it doesn't matter. A pierce is still telling you the direction which you're going to break the channel, and that's clearly saying to the downside. We talked about this way back when this was happening. There's no hammer formation at this bottom. This is just a big late to the downside measured move, and you're going to make another big move to the downside equal to the size of the first one. It's a major crash coming. Quick glance here at the NASDAQ. This is one of those charts that we also altered. We talked about we were looking at a sell point from here and here, and then we got an update, and we said, okay, wait, we had to ch change the, the way we draw this chart. We draw, drew it out as just a widening top formation like this, and that basically told you that when we, and when we saw that, that we were expecting to be a bounce off of that line next time you hit it there. So a couple of days to the upside, and then you roll over again. We didn't actually hit it. We came real close, but it didn't exactly hit. It didn't really matter uh, the actual uh, trade here is still in play. Uh, also, you, it's, you could still see another day to the upside because you haven't hit this line here uh, and you could draw it another way as well. You could say that, uh, that you draw the line from here and then say, okay, we're going to draw it like this. So you could actually see another day, maybe even a week to the upside here. Uh, at best case scenario, I wouldn't try and buy that and anticipating that because the downside potential, the downside risk is much greater than the upside potential. So no, I wouldn't try that. My main reason for just showing you that was not to get you to try and buy this. I wouldn't do that at all, but uh, just simply show you that that still in play there and the reason why I say that is because you have um, the, the fact that you have uh, ECB is talking about potentially lowering its rate uh, it's, it's just to sell the news kind of fade the news kind of theory because I've already pointed out there's not a, a, a um, real long-term benefit to lowering the rate from 0 0.75 to 0 0.5 You've lowered the rate from you know whatever it was four or five down to zero point seven five. That was great. It did some uh, benefit, and then that's worn off now. That 
all the benefit you're going to get there. Now to lower it from 0 0.75 to 0 0.5, that smacks of uh, desperation. It doesn't really do anything. It's going to be a one-day lift to the market, and then people will just sell it. So I wouldn't expect anything long-term there on the upside. However, it could give you a little blip to the upside, and that would give you touching that line there, and that would make more sense. Uh, but you know, all in all, that's just, you know, um, splicing hairs. It's the main thing here is the overall pattern is this very bearish uh, formation telling you to look for a massive move to the downside. Quick glance here at the Russell 2000 small cap index. This one we told you the same basic overall pattern. The only difference being that this one had a down slope here on that, that uh, top line. So you would actually keep your stop way up here. You wouldn't have any risk of being stopped out. But you would look for it to come up here and just tag off of it and roll over. And that's exactly what happened. Massive move to the downside here. Again, I want to point that out because whenever you see the biggest, the bigger move, it gives even less likelihood that you're going to turn around and come up here and make a higher high out of this point. So you, to say, okay, well, we may have to have any Europe. Uh, that might give some positive news and we may have a day to the upside or something like that. That wouldn't give me enough um, oomph to actually get this market to go up here and, and do that number and then roll over. You might get a bounce up here and then turn around and go like that, but I don't expect much more out of this. So, yeah, I think this is already sold. We're already selling at this point as well as this point. We stopped way up here. We have nothing in, on this that we like on the long side. They're looking for a test of this low point down here. Looking now at the SPX, the S&P 500 large cap index, you can see that we basically called this exactly right. We just got stopped out in it and we had to stop and set up the high right here and we got the sell signal at this point here. Then we got another day to the upside. We just come up here, knocks us out of the, the uh, trade, gives us a sell signal again and it rolls over. All this is is a widening top formation, lower series of lows, higher series of highs. Uh, you're doing that same pattern we were talking about uh, on all the other charts. So this again is just something that uh, you just got stopped out because of where your stop was at. It's not an actual buy. It's a sell. You've also got the sell signal here confirmed by today's activity. So you can take that as well as stop one cent, uh, stop set one cent off the high point here. Also point out that this high close here was actually higher than this one over here. You had the corresponding time period on the ultimate oscillator indicated that was BS. You have this high point here and this lower high here trending down showing that momentum was decreasing. That is a bearish divergence. Something we teach on you on uh, the free website at perfectstockalert.com in video format. So if you're not familiar with uh, bearish divergence or bullish divergence or positive uh, reversals or negative reversals, you should go check those out. Uh, very easy videos to watch. And we expect this to actually pull back down here and take out this low point here. Lastly, we'll be looking at the Wilshire 4500 on the EMW. And this one, the same basic overall condition, widening top formation, come up here close to it and then ricochet away from it. That's fine. It makes perfect sense. It's, we should be looking for this on the sell side. If you want to take a position at this point here, you can do so, but you have to adjust your stop to be above this, this little uh, uptrend line here because you could still see some kind of a bounce or something like that that could come up here and tag it and then roll over. So you don't want to set it too tight. I'll be looking for a test of this low point down here, and I expect this market is just about to roll over if it hasn't already done so. Quick little update right quick, I uh, will be uh, updating many of the uh, short term charts on the free website here at perfectstockalert.com. You can go to the market section, the market charts here. I've got some European uh, sales opportunities as well as some US, so it's important that we uh, keep an eye on those. I update them every single night so you can see my annotations, the very charts I was just showing you. Uh, well, you can see whenever I update them and I, and I analyze them every single night and often have the opportunity to change them every single night. So it's important to keep up with whatever is going on because every single day makes new information available to us. And so we'd like to add that into our reading of the chart and continue to uh, adjust our, our uh, thesis, right? If you've not been to the free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free and all we ask in return. Please refer a friend. God bless. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.